Yo, what's good everybody? Y'all already know who it is, bringing you a brand new video. What's popping? In today's video, we finna be discussing those sexy, sexy shoes, the off-white MCA Chicago Air Force Ones. We're finna be talking about the avail availability, the resale predictions, the, um, the official release date, and all that other good shit after I expose this fool for trying to scam people. I so let's get right into it all right y'all right off the bat the mca air force one is a hot commodity in the sneaker game right now probably second in place to the travis scott one you know it's kind of died down a little bit in hype you know as it was last month but you know it's still up there it's still got some crazy resale value it's actually been going up the past couple of weeks i don't know why a whole bunch of shoes have maybe some shady shit going on back there but who knows that's not the topic of this video but today june 26th a sneakers pass dropped for the mca ones and people were going crazy not because you know it dropped but because it's only available to chicago wins i and i myself live in chicago illinois so you know i was able to get it um but i was at work and i didn't have my phone on me so i took an automatic l sadly you know i took a, a dub on the travis scott one so maybe this wasn't my time it don't matter but i took automatic l you know i got soul links they be coming in clutch like just yesterday i caught the that travis scott um reese's cereal bowl and the spoon because man those cereal boxes like they just flew off the virtual shelves like that was crazy but at least i managed to cop the spoon and this uh the bowl you know excuse those sirens i live in chicago so that's expected but it was only open to chicago um chicagoans and a lot of people were going crazy because you know chicago and new york are always the ones getting all the good shit and in this case it was only chicago so obviously there's gonna be a lot of fiends out there trying to sell a whole bunch of the mca chicago's whether they be fake whether they be you know real a lot of people out here trying to hustle and this dude on twitter sneaks was definitely trying to hustle and he was trying to scam me so you're probably saying why why you calling him a, a scammer dude what he do to you well let me show you right here all right as soon as you see it you're gonna notice a scam right here all right I was just looking through Twitter, looking at the MCA post, and I seen this. The Off-White X Nike Air Force One MCA Blue with the fire emoji. You know, it's that real shit when they got the fire emoji. For a size 9.5. A 9.5. Very profitable size, by the way. Probably going for upwards of $1.8, $1.6, $2,000 right now for only $450 DM to purchase and express shipping. Th this is like too good to be true. I had to hop on that train. I had to go and I had to DM them, right? So I do just that. I go and DM them. And man, man, this dude was just desperate to scam me. I'm not trying to make this video too long, so I'm gonna just, you know, skim through the conversation. But essentially, I just hit dude up. I'm like, you know, I'm interested. And right away, right away, he already wants some payment. Dude, he's already talking about Apple Pay, Zelle. Like, come on, dude, chill, chill. And I'm already skeptical. So I'm like, 450 for the MCAs. So I'm over here tripping. And like, he's like, are you able to purchase? And I just wanna see what he says, right? And he was like, awesome, Apple Pay or Zelle. So I'm like, whichever. And then, I, like it's obviously real sus real you know suspicious so I, I gotta ask for some verification dude like it's obviously way too good to be true this dude over here he's just like ready he's trying to scam me all right and then i'm like can i get a picture of the shoes on top of the box or um yeah on top of the box with my twitter handle beside it right just trying to trying to you know verify that he actually has the shoes in his possession and not just you know finesse pictures from google so it was like, oh, sorry, we don't do custom pictures as we deal with too many window shoppers. And if you guys don't know what a window shopper is, basically someone who just looks at the item or just wastes your time and isn't really going to buy something. You know, I'm obviously not going to buy them because I'm going to get scanned. But he just sends me the same pictures from his tweet along with some other ones. And um, 
And that's obviously not enough. So I'm like, I need some concrete information. Give me, give, give me the source. And so he's over here saying that he only offers buyer's protection. And if it turns out that they are fake, I can return them. And so like, he's like, look at him, dude. Like he's just trying so hard to finesse me. And like, I did a little bit of research, you know, and I found this, it is a listing for the Travis Scott one. And this dude right here, Daniel, he's like, why so cheap? And Brad, he's like, because they're fakes. He's also selling $2,000 Air Force Ones for 450, the shoe in question. So he's basically just saying that this guy buys in bulk and they're all fake. And that he also deletes comments about them being fake. He doesn't delete comments because I don't think you can do that on Twitter, but he does delete the listing as you guys are going to see right now. And then I'm like, show me a picture of the receipt because in the previous tweets, he said that he would send me the receipt in box. So I'm just trying to, you know, verify that they're for real. And he said he's a brand ambassador, most likely for Nike, because these are Nike shoes. And he doesn't provide me any proof of that either. He just shows me how he'd be over here trading currencies and all that. Like, I'm not trying to know about your hustle, my guy. I'm just trying to know if these joints are real. Your buyer protection doesn't mean shit to me. Like he's saying basically that he's going to authenticate them after I buy the shoes and that if I don't and if I find out that they're fake, even though he says they're not, I can always return them. And that's obviously some of the stupidest shit ever, because if they're fake and I obviously find out he's obviously going to block me or something, run off with my money. So I'm like, this seems too good to be true. You holding off now wanting to authentify this shoe uh, speaks enough, right? I knew, I knew, like, I know these scammer tricks, right? I know these scammers. I'd be messing with them all the time. And this dude, he deletes the original tweet of the Air Force, or not the Air Force ones, my bad, but the Travis Scott's, right? But you know, he deletes the original tweet, and obviously, the he, he's thinking like, damn, I covered my tracks, ain't nobody gonna find out that I'm over here scamming niggas. But obviously, you know, I'm not dumb, so I go back to my guy Brad, I look at his tweets and replies, and it's still there. So I send that to him, and he said, because we already sold the pair for 10.5, and we only sell one pair of each. But look at this, after you sell a pair, he just retweets the photo saying sold. Like right here, this is a whole different thread. So he's obviously not gonna delete that one, but sold, you know, sold. Like, why didn't you do that with the other ones? And he's like, oh, cause we only sell one of each. So that, that obviously already makes no sense. Like right here, he says, if you purchase them, we will send you a legit authentic picture only once you purchase. And so right here, I'm like, that literally defeats the purpose. Like, why would I want the authenticity of this item after I purchase it? It makes absolutely no sense. Like right away, dude, he, like him just budging and not trying to, you know, prove to me that these joints are real and just wanting me to buy them is such a clear scam. So right here, I'm getting kind of tired of it. And I'm like, this whole thing is too good to be true. So he starts using a smiley face because he's like, damn, I did not scam this nigga out the money. So I got to go find some other dumbass. But, you know, he was like, when I have time, I'll authenticate him for you. And as you guys can see, he never texted me back. So, guys, I don't know. Take it how you want. But this is clearly a scam. Who's going to be selling them for this cheap? My guy, Brad, is right. Who's going to be selling shoes for this cheap? Like, dude, just look at this. Like, these Easy Boost 700s, 240, these Travis Scott 1s, 300, when... Like that, literally, if you're a business, that makes no sense profit-wise at all. I that this is just crazy. It is crazy stupid. I y'all regarding the release date, the quantities, the resale predictions, all that good shit. A lot of people are saying that the release is gonna be tomorrow, June 27th, on the sneakers app as a shock drop. A lot of people are saying that, saying that they got the inside scoop, the inside source, but I'm not too sure how legitimate that could be. A lot of cut groups like Sneaker Huddle are saying that they already got the, you know, the date, the time, all that, you know, where they're going to be dropping, whether it be Frenzy, Sneakers, you know, all these other retailers. According to them, they have the inside scoop. They got all the details on that. But, you know, I highly doubt it because someone, someone would have said something by now. Someone would have told their homies or something by now. But who knows, right? Maybe they're being for real. Maybe they're fucking around. Who knows? But a lot of people are saying that it's going to be tomorrow, June 27th, as a shock drop 
on the sneakers app i'm not too sure what's going on with the frenzy app a lot of people are saying it was sneakers or frenzy or one or the other or none a lot of people are saying that the the release is canceled which i highly doubt because what are like nike's just losing money at that point it'd be stupid not to all right but a lot of people are saying that the release date is tomorrow june 27th on the sneakers app so keep your eyes peeled go to soul links turn on notifications it is a free service anybody can use it like i said they came in clutch with the travis scott merch but turn on notifications for soul links it's not a promotional video for them not at all but you know y'all should sponsor me because i'd be on your shit all the time but when it comes to availability and quantities we all know it's an off-white shoe and it's an air force one and it's a sexy ass air force one at that so obviously very 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 limited quantities it's not gonna be you know everywhere you're not gonna be able to go to your local sneaker boutique and get it or maybe but for you know crazy resales you guys can see right here if i want to buy one in my size 200 or 2271 dollars after fees after taxes all that's probably gonna be 2400 easily and if i want to sell them 2000 you're going to make easy bank from this shoe if you do uh get it and decide to resell easy bank easy money right there but obviously going to be a very limited shoe um who knows if they're going to be dropping more at the mca museum here in chicago um there's most likely going to be a lot more online drops maybe no more on the off-white website as there has already been a shock drop on there a little while ago but for resale predictions we all know it's not going to go down anytime soon just like the travis scott's they're just going to keep going up and up because it is a highly requested shoe it is you know the travis scott and the mca chicago air force ones they're currently you know one of the highest grails in the sneaker game right now but that's about it guys please do not get scanned let's just say i was stupid enough to actually you know fork over the 450 dollars like dude you know how much that would hurt the soul and the pockets dude 450 dollars lost like you, you don't understand how mad i would be dude i just do not want you guys to fall for it most of the time if it's too good to be true it's too good to be true but stay posted turn on notifications for soul link so you guys don't take an l you know like i said stay posted be 10 toes be on all your toes don't get caught lacking it's been your boy i'm out this bitch